Okay, shall we now start on a visualization? We are going to go all the way from the Earth star right up to the stellar gateway and then bring the energy down. Okay, so close your eyes if you want to. And just feel your feet on the ground. And I'm going to be holding up, if you remember, each time something which has got the energy of that chakra in it. So this has got Sandalpan's energy. So just find yourself by a beautiful white beach at the edge of Lake Atatlan. This is in Guatemala. The lake is the most glorious blue. It's calm, it's peaceful. And you're finding yourself in a boat and just smoothly gliding across the lake, relaxing, just relaxing more and more and more. Feeling comfortable, safe, relaxed. And then you find yourself at the entrance of a vast, vast cave. This is the entrance to the magical crystal cave. The retreat of Archangel Sandalpan. You enter the cave, get out of the boat, and look round in wonder. The cave is lit with candles and also with hundreds of sparkling lights. And these are the fairies. It's like a magical wonderland. And as you're looking all around you at the beauty in here, a huge sparkling shimmering light comes in and it's Archangel Sandalphon. Archangel Sandalphon greets you with a smile. You can feel his shimmering silver light moving into your Earth Star Chakra. And Sandalphon gives you a silver box. Tells you telepathically that this silver box contains your potential. How big is it? He invites you to open it. Find something significant inside. You may want to take that something with you. You may be happy to leave it there and come back for it. Because Archangel Sandalphon wants to take you into the next chamber beyond the one that you've come into. And you follow him through a vast archway into a chamber that is bigger than anything you have ever imagined. But this is the collective Earth Star of humanity. The whole place is lit up with silver light. 
and you can see that it's full of houses, bungalows, skyscrapers, castles, a million billion dwellings representing the Earth Star Foundations of Humanity. And Sandalfon takes you to your dwelling. How big is it? Would you like to expand it? Is there anything you need to do to establish a stronger, firmer foundation for your ascension? Ask Archangel Sandalfon to activate your Earth Star Chakra until you can see it shimmering silver below you. And then ask him to guide his fifth dimensional bubble from your Earth Star right up and over your energy fields. Your aura is silver. It's reflective. Feel this resonance through every cell of your body, your aura and your fields. Sense the potential of each of your chakras being opened. And feel yourself connecting into the heart of Mother Earth, Lady Gaia herself. And sense her energy flowing up into you and expanding your bubble. Just know that this etheric bubble is getting bigger and bigger and spreading around the planet. Feel the musical vibrational resonance of every sentient being on the planet merging with yours. Feel at one with the planet. Know that whether you can hear it or not, the perfect note of your divine blueprint is sounding. Just relax. Let it chime in every cell of your body. And then Archangel Sandalfon takes you by the hand right back to the entrance of the vast magical crystal cave. And here you and Sandalfon together are focusing a beam of light onto London the planetary Earth star.
Then you're finding yourself back in the boat, knowing that incredible things have happened within your earth star chakra. It's much more solid, much higher frequency. And feel the contentment as the boat takes you back to the shore. When you reach the shore, a beautiful white angel is coming to meet you. And this angel is taking you with him up through the plains, right up above Mount Shasta in California. And you're aware of a vast diamond retreat, Archangel Gabriel's retreat. You enter the diamond shaped cosmic retreat, feeling the high, pure light of Gabriel. And Archangel Gabriel steps forward to greet you. Tell him that you want to bring your base and sacral and navel chakras into the fifth dimension, if you're ready, into the upper levels of the fifth dimension. And Gabriel touches your base chakra. It's like a big round ball, a platinum ball. He pulls out any stuck energy, just literally pulls it out. And now he's pouring in pure platinum light. Visualize your life safe, filled with bliss and joy. Know that you're developing the spiritual discipline to be a master. Just see the platinum ball in your base chakra, shimmering. And then Archangel Gabriel is placing a white fire diamond into it. It's expanding and radiating light out to purify the world and bring the fifth type, the base chakras of everyone to a higher level. And when Gabriel Ignites that chakra again. Together you're sending a beam of light to the planetary base chakra in the mountains of North China. And then you're asking Archangel Gabriel to touch your sacral chakra. Just see it becoming a beautiful, glorious pink ball. As he pulls out the stuck energy in your sacral. And 
And now, Archangel Gabriel is holding the fifth dimensional blueprint for your perfect, radiant, sacral, sexual and emotional health in your sacral chakra. And he is placing it right into your chakra. Ask Archangel Gabriel to purify your family karma. And then take a moment to visualize your entire family being set free. I like to just mentally name them so he can touch them with higher light. If you wish to, you can ask Archangel Gabriel to activate your twin flame or soulmate connections or to set you free. Just ask him now. And then ask him to raise the vibration of the sacral chakra in humanity. He is now placing a pink diamond light in your sacral. It's spreading out. And then focusing in a beam on Honolulu, the sacral planetary chakra. And finally, you're asking Archangel Gabriel to fully activate your navel chakra. Just see or sense him touching it so that it shimmers an incredible orange ball and is wide awake. And now he asks you to visualize people all over the world welcoming each other all cultures and religions, all totally accepting. Everyone seeing the divine in each other. See all walls and boundaries tumbling down. See everyone in the world in vibrant health. All families bonded in love. Picture fifth dimensional cities, beautiful golden cities and communities just emerging all over the world. And then Archangel Gabriel is holding a pure diamond sparkling with orange fire. He is placing it in your navel. Okay. 
containing the vision of a beautiful future for the planet and for yourself. And Archangel Gabriel is leading you to a diamond throne. He invites you to sit in it. And let the diamond energy purify you, uplift you, heal you, fill you with joy. And from here, focus a beam of light onto Fiji, the planetary navel chakra. And now golden angels are coming to collect you. And they are holding you in a beautiful cocoon where you feel so safe. So happy and contented. As they fly with you all the way to Archangel Uriel's retreat above the Tatra Mountains in Poland. You can see the retreat ahead of you, a vast golden ruby tinted rose that's glowing warm and welcoming. You enter and just Feel the calmness, the peace in here. Archangel Uriel meets you and he enfolds you in a golden cloak lined with ruby light. You can sense the energy enfolding you. And it's lighting up your solar plexus so that your 33 petals open wide. Breathe the red, royal blue and gold contained in the ruby ray gently in and out of your solar plexus. It is strengthening you as you breathe it in so that you are able to stand in your power and magnificence. As you stand in Uriel's light, rescind all karmic agreements now. Call in fire dragons. Ask them to burn up any energy in your solar plexus that doesn't belong to you. Any fear that someone else has placed in there or a television program that you've watched and you've picked up the energy. Anything that somebody has said, just ask the fire dragons to burn it up if it's not yours now.
And then breathe in peace. Just breathe it in. Feel your solar plexus relaxing. Breathing in the peace so that your true wisdom can emerge. And then be aware of the angels of peace all around you. They've all come into Archangel Uriel's retreat. And they are every color from gold to ruby. Send them to places and people and situations on the planet now to bring peace. And then ask Archangel Uriel to activate the light codes of your wisdom in your solar plexus. And now it's time to call in Archangel Uriel's golden angels. Ask them to conduct you into the center of hollow earth, the great seventh dimensional chakra in the center of our planet. And as they take you, they're singing to you. And you're entering hollow earth, which is a beautiful, sunlit paradise, absolutely vast. The angels conduct you to an etheric diamond pyramid and you are entering the pyramid. Here you can access the Akashic records for Earth. You can access the wisdom of your soul journey in this universe and other universes. And the angels are placing all this wisdom and records and energy into a golden ball. And they are holding the golden ball for you as you fly together back to Archangel Uriel's retreat. They hand the ball to Archangel Uriel. And just prepare yourself, relax. As he places the ball into your solar plexus chakra, just breathe it in. Feel your eyes glowing with delight as you thank Archangel Uriel. And together you focus a beam of light onto South Africa. 
which is the solar plexus chakra of the planet. And you're leaving Archangel Uriel's retreat. And this time, pink and white angels are accompanying you on the next part of your journey to Archangel Chamuel's retreat above St. Louis in Missouri, America. As you approach his retreat, you can already feel the energy of the crystal bed, the quartz crystal bed, beaming up at you. And you enter his beautiful retreat. Feel the love. And here, Archangel Chamuel, white and pink, beautiful blue eyes full of love, greets you. Focus on the rose in your heart center. Breathe gently in and out of the rose as you stand in Archangel Chamuel's light. See the 33 petals starting to unfurl as you relax. And then as they're unfurling more and more, Archangel Chamuel touches your heart chakra. You may sense this, or you may feel a glow in your heart. Be aware of those petals opening wide. 33 lessons of the heart. And then Archangel Metatron is arriving. A glorious golden orange being of light. And he is radiating his light like a glorious, fabulous, warm sun onto your heart. And as the flower is absorbing the light and warmth, the, any old stuck third dimensional aspects are just dissolving in the beautiful warmth. And Archangel Metatron is stepping back and the beautiful turquoise Archangel Mary is arriving. And she is pouring love into your higher heart. So sense these inner petals opening wide. And now for your fifth dimensional petals of your higher heart to open fully, it's time to forgive your entire earth experience. This is a residue from the fall of Atlantis. Whether you were there or not, you still carry part of the collective energy. 
And the healing key for that time is in a beautiful rose quartz in the Temple of Love, overseen by Lady Venus in the Cosmic Heart. And so angels are taking you from Chamuel's retreat up a shaft of beautiful light to the cosmic heart. And the cosmic heart is vast. Within it, you see the beautiful pink quartz temple of love. Enter it. Sit quietly here. And without knowing it, you are bathing in sacred geometric codes of golden Christ consciousness. You are bathed in perfect love. Ask to reset the planetary matrix at the fall of Atlantis so that we can all move forward now. See the key, take it, turn it to reset the planetary matrix. Just say, I forgive the entire Earth experience. It's also time to forgive yourself. You know at a deep level who you truly are, that you are a magnificent soul. And so hold the intention to forgive all that stuff you've been holding. Place the cosmic diamond violet flame over yourself in the temple of truth. You are reconnecting with your essence, your divine magnificence. Just sense your heart. If there's any ice around it still, let it melt. Be aware of the Christ light flowing into it and over it, melting any last traces of the old. Picture your heart glowing with love. Bless everyone, all people, regardless of what they've seemed to have done. Now step out of the temple of love and call in Archangel Chamuel at the highest frequency he can touch you and ask him to fully connect you to all aspects of the great cosmic heart. Be aware of all the petals of your heart center opening wide and the central core of it glowing gold. The ray of love from the cosmic heart filled with the keys and codes of source love is flowing in.
and you are stepping into Archangel Chamuel's retreat again. And together, you are focusing a beam of light onto Glastonbury, the planetary heart center. And then it's time to move to the throat chakra, the charge of Archangel Michael himself. And you are surrounded by angels, dragons and unicorns. As you find yourself approaching Archangel Michael's retreat above Lake Louise in Banff, Canada. You see the sacred, beautiful castle shimmering with deep blue sapphires and golden light. It is ablaze with light. And as you enter through the great gates, you can feel Archangel Michael's energy. He greets you at the entrance to the great castle. He looks through you and you feel he knows everything about you. And as soon as you enter his vast chamber, he invites you to sit on a royal blue throne. Immediately you feel the 22 chambers of your throat chakra opening up and radiating royal blue light. Instantly, you're in telepathic communication with people and animals. Send a message to someone or an animal. Archangel Michael asks, are you ready to speak your truth? Are you ready to work for the new golden age? Are you ready to stand in your power? You wish your fifth dimensional chakras to be open wide. You answer yes. He hands you his sword of truth, radiating shining white light. You hold this. This is now yours. As long as you remain fifth dimensional, you have your own sword of truth. And now, to help you stand in your power, he is giving you a royal blue cloak lined with gold. And he places it over your shoulders. This is a cloak of wisdom with power. Notice what it does to your energy fields. Notice how your chakra feels. And now he is holding a huge sapphire. A vast etheric 
sapphire which is placing in your throat chakra. Feel it lighting up the facets of your throat. Feel it changing your throat chakra energetically. Know that you have moved into another frequency totally. And Archangel Michael is placing a hand on your shoulder as he leads you to the entrance of his castle again. Together you focus a beam of light to the planetary chakra, which is Luxor in Egypt. And then Archangel Michael vanishes. And you find yourself in an instant above Archangel Raphael's retreat, which is Fatima in Portugal. And he is in charge of your third eye. And as you find yourself in his vast, vast retreat, you visualize your third eye as a crystal ball. You breathe into it. Sense or feel Archangel Raphael's hand on your third eye, illuminating it. It's lighting up the 96 chambers. Think of a situation in your personal life and allow a picture of the higher perspective of that picture, of that situation to form in your crystal ball not the actual situation, a higher perspective on it. And ask Archangel Raphael to hold the vision in its angelic frequency. And then think of a world situation. There are so many. Just think of one situation. And visualize the higher perspective on that situation in your crystal ball. And ask Raphael to hold the vision in its angelic frequency. And this is one way of expanding your levels of enlightenment, bringing about higher level manifestation, expanding your third eye chakra at a fifth dimensional frequency. And Archangel Raphael is now holding a huge, huge etheric emerald and placing it in your third eye. Just feel it. Feel every cell of your body vibrating with the emerald light. Bringing your body into fifth dimensional health. Ask Archangel Raphael to send blessings of healing to everybody that needs it.
And that emerald healing light just flowing to an animal in need. Just feel your third eye with its 96 chambers open, blazing fifth dimensional light and sending that wonderful light all around our beautiful planet. And then stand with Archangel Raphael and together focus a beam of light on Afghanistan, the planetary third eye chakra. Getting ready now to move to the crown chakra. And Archangel Jophiel has his retreat above the mountains of North China. You're finding yourself sitting in a golden lotus flower. It's wide open. And Jophia greets you. Beautiful, pale, pale, crystal yellow light. And he takes you to your own crown chakra. The thousand petals are open. A pure white unicorn is above you, lighting up and activating the petals. See them starting to unfurl. Some of them, maybe all of them, are reaching out to the stars. There is energy pouring down these petals into your crown. And these energies contain geometric codes of wisdom. And as each one is taken in by your energy fields, enhancing your knowledge and your wisdom. And your links out into the universe are lighting up. Now Archangel Jophiel is giving you a special gift that you have earned. He is creating a ball of wisdom. And he is placing it into your crown. I have a sense of yourself radiating light out from your crown into the universe. And then together, you and Archangel Jophia are beaming light onto Machu Picchu, which is the planetary crown chakra of the planet and then we're going to the causal chakra and be aware that your causal chakra is your own personal moon above your head just enter it and see how big it is And within this huge single peace chamber, there is a gateway 
to the angelic realms. Is it open? Is it closed? How big is it? Archangel Christiel, pure white angel, enters and he is pouring light into your peace chamber above your head. And a unicorn is entering. And this unicorn knows you, is greeting you, and inviting you to sit on its back. It's taking you up through a beam of light to the great stargate of Lyra. Going through the stargate to meet the unicorns. Some of these unicorns are much higher dimensional frequency than you may ever have met before. They are luminous, they are radiating, they are wanting to come to service in earth. And Archangel Christiel is sending a pathway of light through the moon back to your causal chakra, a much higher frequency than the one you came up on. You may sense the light of it flooding into your causal as the unicorns, maybe a few, maybe many, follow you back down through the moon, down into the causal chakra above your head. And here, you see again the gateway to the angelic kingdom. Is it bigger? If it's not open, open it wide, walk through it. You're greeted by angels singing. Floods of Christ light are pouring over you. Any unicorns that have come with you are following you into the angelic realms from where they can go down to earth to serve. Be aware of the light, the energy, the connections here. You have strengthened your connection to the angelic realms and to Archangel Christia. Come back through the gate and leave it wide open into your causal chakra. And then beam a light directly to Tibet, which is the planetary causal chakra. Feel it light up with the light that everyone has sent there. Wow. And now we're moving rapidly up to the solar star. And first we're going to the Himalayas, to the purest place on the planet. Ready to light up the keys and codes of your soul potential. And Archangel Mariel is waiting to greet you, but first 
in order to enter his world, you go through the violet flame taken by Archangel Sadkiel to transmute all the lower energies in the lower part of your soul star. So you're walking with Zadkiel now, going through his flame. up, up, into the higher soul star. Find yourself surrounded by 33 chambers and being greeted by Archangel Lavender, who is Mariel's twin flame. And Lavender is opening the doors to your past lives, to any part of your soul journey, to your ancestral links, where there is something unresolved. And Lavender has the great wisdom, the great love and perfect energy to persuade these people with love to forgive so that you can be set free. So go with lavender now to any place that needs to be set free. And now, knowing that a clearance has taken place almost beyond your comprehension, your soul star is lighting up with new high frequency energy and Archangel Moriel is entering. And he is touching and fully activating the soul star chakra above your head. And you are bringing the picture of the golden age that you formed earlier up from your navel chakra and holding it in your soul star. And you're asking Mariel, to energize this picture for the highest good of all. This is service work that enables your chakra to blaze. And then the great angel Mary is entering and Mario and Mary together are holding the magenta flame of divine feminine love. They are placing it into your soul star. See it blazing, lighting up the keys and codes of your soul potential. New possibilities are now possible for you. Just feel love filtering down through your chakras. And then together, Mary, Mario, Lavender, Zadkiel, and you. Beam light onto Agra, the soul star of the planet. And then we're going to visit Archangel Metatron's glowing temple of light. And your stellar gateway chakra. So 
angels are collecting you and you can hear the music as they take you to the vast golden orange chalice of your stellar gateway. They are placing you in the center of this awesome, magnificent chalice. Metatron is beaming the brightest energy you have ever experienced over you. Just bathe in it, in your stellar gateway. Know that as you are resting in it, your ascension path is being accelerated. Light is filling you. This is a divine gift. And you are automatically sending light to the Arctic, the planetary stellar gateway, lighting it up. And as you rest in the stellar gateway chalice, you're aware of the universe, the stars, the planets. It's awesome. It's beyond amazing. And filaments of golden light are reaching out and connecting to the stars. And light is coming down from the stars and connecting back into your stellar gateway. Your place of origin, whether in this universe or another, is twinkling. And a beam of light is connecting you. Feel it. Be aware of all your chakras wide open. And ask Archangel Metatron to run a column of light from the great central sun beyond our sun down through the 12 chakras into hollow earth. Relax as the golden orange light floods right down through you, out into the ley lines. And now the higher Mahatma energy is flooding down through you, reconnecting all the energetic pathways in your chakras. Ninth dimensional pure white unicorn energy is flowing through you. The purest, highest frequency Christ light is now pouring through you. Coming through you into the earth. Lunar energy is flowing through you, illuminating the DNA within you. Be aware that your 12 chakras, the fifth dimensional frequency, are all wide open and radiating. And now we are going to move to another level. We're going to open the sixth dimensional chakras. This time you're going to focus again on your earth star chakra. It's glowing pale, ethereal, silver, platinum.
you're placing in it a circle with a yin yang symbol in it. And then light is reaching out from your Earth star chakra all the way to Neptune and its ascended aspect to delay. Connecting to the wisdom of the golden ages of Atlantis and Lemuria. And down that shaft of light at a sixth dimensional frequency, that wisdom is pouring back into your earth star chakra below your feet. And now your base chakra. So pale, ethereal, platinum. And you're placing a square, the symbol of a square in the center of your base chakra. And then the energy is reaching right out to the stars, right out to Saturn and its ascended aspect, Kishi. And feel your entire energy system getting bigger as the link goes out and it is bringing back from Saturn and Kishi all the keys and codes that you are ready for, the spiritual discipline to give you the energy to be a master. And then you're moving up to your sacral. And this is a beautiful silvery, pale, ethereal, pink peach. And there's an horizontal oval shape in it. And then the energy is reaching out into the universe, forming a great column of light all the way to Sirius and Lecume. Oh, it's bringing in the keys and codes back to your sacral of transcendent love, but also the Christ light, also much technology for the new golden age. Then you're moving up to your navel, which is now a pale ethereal silver peach and a vertical oval is being placed in it. And the chakra at a six dimensional frequency is opening up and sending that shaft of light out of the sun, through the sun to Helios and bringing in the codes for higher wisdom into your navel. Your entire energy field is becoming stellar. Then you move to your solar plexus, which is now a pale ethereal silver gold and a six pointed star is placed in here. The energy is going down into the earth, through into hollow earth, and it's ascended aspect, Pilche, bringing up the wisdom of the golden ages and earth and placing it into your solar plexus. Your heart at a sixth dimensional frequency is a pale, ethereal, silver white. And the symbol in here is a circle. And a heart is opening at a six dimensional frequency and sending the light out to Venus stretching right up through the universe to Venus, 
to bring back down through that connecting link, cosmic love. And the source love steps down through Venus and you're now picking it up at a sixth dimensional frequency. We're moving to your throat chakra, which is now a pale ethereal silver blue. And the symbol here is an upward triangle. The throat chakra is opening up at a six dimensional frequency to send that light out to Mercury and its ascended aspect to Lephany and to bring back the light of truth, of true communication into your throat chakra. Moving up to your third eye, which is now a pale ethereal silver crystal green. And the symbol is an infinity sign, it's horizontal. And your sixth dimensional third eye is opening up and sending the light out to Jupiter and Jumbe, its ascended aspect, and bringing down the keys and codes into your third eye for healing, for abundance, for vast expansion. And moving into the crown, which is a pale, ethereal, crystal yellow. Now the symbol here is like a pyramid going down, a pyramid going up, and then the sides all opening. And this time, as the crown chakra opens at a sixth dimensional frequency, the light is going to link with Uranus, its ascended aspect, Curane to bring in higher cosmic connections back down into your crown chakra. And your sixth dimensional causal chakra above your head is lighting up a pale ethereal silver white. The symbol is like an ice cream cone with spiral of light coming out of it. And the energy at a sixth dimension is linking up, up to the moon and to Lyra and bringing back angelic and unicorn connections. Just feel that light pouring back into your, your causal. Then you're moving up to your soul star, which is a pale ethereal silver magenta. And the symbol here is a five-pointed star, star, the symbol of perfected humanity. And the light from this sixth dimensional soul star chakra is going right up to Orion and setting a link of cosmic wisdom coming back down. And when you move to your stellar gateway, and it's a pale, ethereal, silver, orange chalice. The symbol in here is the Metatron cube. The Metatron cube, just visualize it. You can see it, I'm holding it up. Or if you don't want to open your eyes, bring, make a cross and then bring a line straight down through it. That's the symbol here. And then take the energy right out to Mars and its ascended aspect, Nigele. And this is bringing back to you the energy of the ascended spiritual warrior, a peaceful warrior. And the light of the unicorns and the higher Mahatma is pouring through again. Now be aware of yourself standing there or sitting there with the light going out from you in all directions, from your six dimensional chakras to the stars. 
Ask Archangel Sandalphon to ground your Earth Star Chakra now into the seventh dimensional diamond core of hollow Earth, as well as into your fifth dimensional body. And let cosmic light now flow down through you, through all the shapes of the symbols you've put in, right down through you. And then bring it all up again through the symbols. And when you've done this, it starts to complete the Antikorana bridge to your monad. And through that, all the way to source, till ultimately you merge with your monad. We are on that journey now. Just be aware of how vast you are, of how you have reached out into the stars. And then start to bring this sixth dimensional energy back in. Back in from your soul, from your stellar gateway, your soul star your causal, your crown, your third eye, your throat, your heart, solar plexus, navel, sacral, base, earth star. And just feel yourself surrounded in an egg of beautiful Christ light. And then open your eyes. <laughs>